i te ati awa, katu aho. Kiti amehi. Kia ora, Toto. <laughs> I invite everyone to take one deep breath with me. In case I might seem a little familiar, but something seems a little off. This is the guy who was here six and a half months ago. Does transformation include haircuts? Yeah. I'm going to tell you three stories today. One, who I am. Two, what I've done. And three, what I'm interested in doing, hopefully with some of you. I wouldn't be here without this Fano. Everyone here has had a role in my life. I've been very lucky to draw upon two countries and cultures. My native is Ahmedabad, Gujarat, which is in the western part of India. Most of my life has been in the US, living through the Midwest, East, South, and the Pacific Northwest, and San Francisco has been home for 19 years. As for what I've done, I like to think of it as a triangle. I've worn many different hats in my professional career. The first one that stuck for a while was founder entrepreneur and liking to start things and getting them somewhere off the ground. And after doing that a few times, I became what's called an operator in running a global business for a decade. The one that stuck was an investment firm I started in 2001. I was too foolish, crazy, and stupid to be told I couldn't start a firm without any assets, track record, or relevant experience. And <laughs> lo and behold, build a global business, uh, starting with under a million dollars and growing to multiple billions, but no down years of performance over a decade. And after running that for a decade, um, and also being an investor, I decided I liked investing more than operating. And so eight years ago, I became a full-time investor, except a lot of other people, as my boss, I decided to be my own boss and be what's called um, a family office investor. And in the course of that time, you might call myself having a number of learnings in that process. And living in the San Francisco Bay Area, there are a lot of interesting experiences one has. And one of them comes to mind seven months ago, where in a span of a week, I had three things happen to me. Uh, for me, through me, as me. One was a water ceremony with a Balinese high priestess named Ida Rasi. The second was an all-day white tantra kundalini yoga workshop. And the third was an energetic healing, the dear brother of mine, healing wounds that I know I was carrying with the feminine. The next day, I woke up with the most clarity I've ever had in my life of why I've been put on this earth. And out spilled from me something that, now, that I now refer to as my manifesto. This was seven months ago, a month before I set foot in New Zealand, and I came to the last new frontiers. I'd like to share that with you. Number one, to advance the digital currency or blockchain industry as an investor, advisor, and mentor while spreading core values of inclusion, connectedness, and global consciousness. Two, to leverage knowledge and access into Silicon Valley and Wall Street for the selective advancement of the right teams and projects that are deeply and fully aligned. Three, to explore, realize, and share discoveries around the intersection of science and spirituality, fostering opportunities of awakening for those ready. Four, to create, weave, and nurture intentional communities in shared spaces and experiences. Five, to help transition to the evolutionary masculine by facilitating healing of men's wounds through safe spaces, compassion, and understanding. Six, 
Six, to increase female abundance through education and teaching the art of investing. Seven, to help adults rediscover the magic and beauty of play, releasing the inner child with fresh creativity. Eight, to love, heal, and educate neglected children around the world in fully intentional and nurturing environments, ultimately creating future global leaders. Nine, to help realize our species' fullest potential, including longevity and time and space travel. One. Ten, to catalyze deeper individual connections with mother, perhaps baby, Earth. Eleven, to accelerate the culture, mindset, and energy of supreme abundance independent of financial resources. 12, to eliminate polarity from an or-based mindset and transition to an and-based mindset. 13, to support those following these listed missions. And 14, to disrupt those obstructing these listed missions. <laughs> This is how you come hang and share time and space with me. Tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto.